Prince Albert Raiders general manager Curtis Hunt. Curtis, you're a Western Hockey League champion. How's it feel? Oh, it feels fantastic. A little bit surreal right now, but it's great watching the guys roam around. Uh, we work tremendously hard. Uh, I think we come over through some little adversity here at the end, and uh, they found a way, and they found a way together, and I'm really proud of the way they played. I'm proud of our coaching staff. And we saw the building tonight jam-packed. I'm proud of our front office and, and the work they do, and they never really get mentioned, and today we're all champions. It took overtime in Game 7. It wasn't easy. How's your heart right now? What was going through your head in that extra period? Well, I, I didn't like the penalties, to be honest with you, but uh, I, you know what? I, I thought we really took the game over in the third period. I thought we did. Uh, we used our speed. Uh, we used our skill. We cycled low. We were physical. And, uh, you know, you just, it's, it's one of those games, you know, you look at the shots at the end of it and uh, discounting the power plays, maybe they had 12 even string shots. So, uh, you know, you just hope one of those little knucklers doesn't find the back of our net. But, uh, you know, you got to believe. That's the first thing. Ian Scott's the MVP of the playoffs. He's been here his whole Western Hockey League career. What can you say about his performance and how much he means to the success of this group? Well, I think for him, it, you know, it started early in the year and Mark and I talked about just his poise and posture in the net and, and knowing that when we weren't sharp in front of him, he was a, he was a monster back there. And uh, he showed it all the way through the, the playoffs, had a couple of hiccups, always rebounded exceptionally well. And you know what, he gives you a chance to win every night. And then you add that to some balanced scoring and uh, magical things happen. 1985, that was the last time the Prince Albert Raiders were Western Hockey League champions. You were there as a player. How cool is it to be on this side of a championship team in Prince Albert? Well, the perspective is so much different. Uh, gained a little weight since then. But uh, <laughs> you know what? It's, it's, I don't know, it's hard to explain. You know, you, the thing about that for me, especially because we had a whole bunch of alum coming back, and you, you know what? Even getting down here, I ran into four of them. And I, you know, they're as happy now, but we relive those memories and it's about the people. And, and my message always was to our players is before we started the postseason is enjoy the moment, every moment, enjoy every person, the things we have together, the things we go through because it's gone. And uh, so we're gonna enjoy this tonight. As Mark always says, we have till midnight and then we get focused on uh, Halifax. You talk about Halifax, you got an opportunity to win another trophy there. Uh, You've been there yourself, so what does it take to win at that level in that tournament? Well, that's a different animal again altogether. You've got a short tournament. You've got, uh, you know, a little more timeouts. You got TV exposure. You know, it really becomes about bench management versus a, a series where you're you're managing fatigue a little bit more. So, you know, the great thing about this is Mark's got great experience in this tournament. Jeff Truitt's got great experience in this tournament. Uh, both guys part of those Hockey Canada programs in, in that short tournament event. And, Understanding the margin of error is so small, and understanding not only do you get right back up, you got to get right back up against someone different the next night. And uh, you know, I'm really confident in the group we have of uh, our leadership group and coaches. And you know what? We're excited about the task ahead.